If you've ever felt like your mouse input or game timing isn't quite consistent, where frame times look fine in a graph but still feel slightly uneven, there's a hidden reason. It's called Dynamic Tick. Dynamic Tick is a feature in Windows where the system timer is allowed to stop when nothing's happening, supposedly to save power. The problem? When the CPU has to wake up, the timer sometimes jumps, and that can throw off latency-sensitive tasks like games, audio, and competitive input. By default, Windows mixes and matches multiple timers. TSC, or Timestamp Counter, very fast but drifts on some CPUs. HPET, or High Precision Event Timer, very accurate but adds overhead. ACPI timers, fallback, usually the slowest. The scheduler juggles between them, and Dynamic Tick makes this juggling worse. Today, I'll show you how to disable unnecessary tickless scheduling, stabilize timers, and reduce input lag. Each step will include a safe revert command, so you can undo it if you don't like the results. Step 1. Disable Dynamic Tick with BCDE Edit and revert. Let's start by disabling a core feature, Dynamic Tick. This is a power-saving mechanism that allows Windows to stop system timers when the CPU is idle. It sounds efficient, but in real-world use, especially for gaming or anything timing-sensitive, it can introduce stuttering or uneven frame times. To disable it, open Command Prompt as Administrator. You can do this by pressing Win plus X and selecting Command Prompt as Admin or Windows Terminal as Admin depending on your setup. Once the terminal is open, type the following command. Hit enter and you should see a confirmation message. After that, reboot your PC for the change to take effect. This command stops Windows from entering a tickless idle state, which means the system timer will keep running consistently even when your CPU isn't under load. Revert command. If you ever want to undo this change and return to default Windows behavior, open Command Prompt as Admin again and type Reboot once more and Dynamic Tick will be back to its stock state. Disabling Dynamic Tick keeps the CPU timer consistent and continuous, which is critical for stable frame times. Step 2. Force Platform Clock HPET on or off optional test. This step is optional, but worth testing if you want the most consistent input timing or smoother frame times. Windows normally mixes between TSC, timestamp counter, and HPET, high precision event timer, depending on what it thinks is best, but that logic isn't always perfect. You can manually force one or the other to see what works best for your system. To force HPET on, open Command Prompt as Administrator, then type BCD Edit slash Set Use Platform Clock True. Then press Enter, then reboot your PC. This tells Windows to always use HPET for timing instead of TSC. To revert HPET, auto selection, if you want to undo that and let Windows decide automatically again, use to force HPET off, skip platform clock entirely. You can also explicitly tell Windows not to use HPET at all by running. This forces the system to rely solely on TSC. Revert again, restore default behavior, same as before and reboot to return to the default clock behavior. Why this matters? Some systems benefit from forcing a specific timer. For example, older Intel CPUs, pre-tint gen, may run smoother with HPET enabled, while modern AMD Ryzen chips tend to prefer it off. Testing both is safe and reversible, so it's a quick way to experiment with potential gains in responsiveness or frame pacing. Step 3. Force Platform Timer TSC Consistency 
The TSC, Time Stamp Counter, is the fastest and most efficient timer available on modern CPUs. It's low overhead and ideal for real-time tasks like gaming. However, Windows doesn't always trust TSC by default, especially on systems with older CPUs or certain BIOS UEFI configurations, so it may fall back to slower alternatives like HPET or ACPI timers. You can force Windows to treat TSC as a reliable, synchronized timer across all CPU cores. Command. Open Command Prompt as Administrator, then type BCDET slash set space use platform timer space true. Press Enter, then reboot your system. This setting tells Windows to use an enhanced TSC synchronization policy, which ensures the TSC is consistent across all CPU cores. That helps eliminate timer drift and can improve timing accuracy in games and low latency workloads. Revert command. If you ever want to remove this setting and go back to the default behavior, run BCDET slash delete space used platform timer space true. Reboot again to apply the change. Why this matters. Games often query the system clock thousands of times per frame. If cores disagree on time, you get stutter. This enforces consistent timing. Step 4. Adjust Registry for Timer Resolution Policy Windows manages how apps request high-resolution timers, which control how frequently the system ticks per second. Some applications, especially overlays, launchers, or background utilities, aggressively request high-res timers like 0.5 milliseconds to boost responsiveness. But when multiple apps do this at once, it can cause instability or inconsistent latency. You can force a more predictable, system-wide behavior through the registry. Here's how. Press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, then press Enter to open the registry editor. Navigate to the following path. In the right pane, create a new DWORD 32-bit value or modify it if it already exists. Name. Global Timer Resolution Requests Value 1. Enables consistent, system-wide support for high-res timer requests. 0. Returns to default behavior. Apps can still request high-res timers, but handling is more dynamic and less consistent. After setting the value, reboot your PC to apply the change. Revert to undo this tweak, simply go back to the same location in the registry and delete the Global Timer Resolution Requests entry. Why this matters? Some overlays and launchers constantly request high-res timers, destabilizing latency. Setting this forces predictable behavior. Step 5. Use Timer Tool or ISLC to verify and lock resolution. Now that you've adjusted the system's timer policies, it's time to confirm what your timer resolution is actually running at and optionally lock it to a lower, more responsive setting. Windows defaults to a timer resolution of 15.6 milliseconds, which is fine for basic use, but not ideal for gaming or latency-sensitive tasks. Most games request 1.0 milliseconds while running, but some tools can push it even further down to 0.5 milliseconds for ultra-low input lag. Download Timer Tool or ISLC. Open it and check the current timer resolution. Default windows 15.6 milliseconds. Games often request 1.0 milliseconds. With tweaks, you can lock 0.5 milliseconds for ultra-responsive. Set and activate 0.5 milliseconds and leave it running while gaming. To revert, 
Just close the tool and reboot. Windows resets to normal 15.6 milliseconds. Why this matters? This is the final layer of control. After disabling dynamic tick and forcing timer policies, locking resolution gives you the lowest possible input lag. And that's it. You've just taken control of something Windows normally hides, the CPU timer system itself. To recap, disabled dynamic tick with BCDE edit and added a revert command. Tested HPET on off to find the best match for your CPU. Forced synchronized TSC for consistent per core timing. Adjusted registry to stabilize high resolution timer requests. Verified and locked timer resolution with timer tool or ISLC. The result? Smoother frame times, lower input latency, no more weird CPU timer jumps mid-game. Every command here had a revert method, so you can safely experiment and settle on what feels best for your system.